Doctor, say you have a patient come in and she's concerned because she's high risk. From a surgeon's perspective, uh, what are the best practices that should be followed? I think that surgeons need to carve out a little more time for the patient who comes in based on the Jolie effect who says, my grandmother had breast cancer, my aunt had breast cancer. I think that there's a lot of history that the surgeon needs to take. The father's side matters. We need to understand about both mother and father's side. All of the genes, and I mean all of them, that have to do with breast cancer are not on sex chromosomes. They're autosomal. And so the father's side matters as much as the mother's side. So the surgeon needs to take a really complete history. And then, in general terms, talk about what the patient's goals are. Because if testing for a gene, testing for BRCA, would in no way change the patient's life or her pathway, then it might not make sense. But if the patient has daughters or sisters or her own feeling is to be proactive, then I think the surgeon should facilitate that referral to a geneticist. And this is really kind of getting into personalized medicine and there's so much a patient needs to do. They need to do their due diligence before going in and not just show up once a year for their mammogram or once every however many years for their mammogram. Yeah, it's really true and it's particularly true for the woman who's had a family history and now has a problem. She now has breast cancer. Uh, the writer Martha Lear wrote that breast cancer was the only disease in which a woman could be threatened by the lump in her neighbor's breast. And it really is true. Um, everybody knows someone with breast cancer. The problem is, is that when women get the diagnosis, their first reaction might be, remove both breasts, remove my ovaries, remove my adrenal glands, I'm done. We've got to slow them down in that regard because that's not something they're likely to pursue if we just slow the presses down, we reassure them. So that initial reaction about doing a double mastectomy is common and I think can be very, very harmful. Once they have the diagnosis, there's a huge amount of information that patients need to have at their fingertips. For example, genomic profiling. For the first half of my career, every woman with breast cancer got chemotherapy small tumors, negative nodes. That was the standard in this country, and it was based on randomized trials. In those days, we treated 100 women to help four. So 96 women got chemotherapy with early stage breast cancer with no hope of that helping them. Today, we have genomic profiling platforms like Oncotype DX, like Mammaprint, that will allow us to put cancers into boxes. If you look at the patients with estrogen receptor positive, HER2 new negative, node negative breast cancer, we can re remove chemotherapy from more than half of those patients using Oncotype DX. It's simply not going to help them. So that's what patients need to be aware of, is that there are options out there to personalize their care.